Welcome back to our vegan kitchen. I feel like it's donut day on the Great British Bake Show. <laughs> so today, obviously, we're having vegan donuts. And these are the fluffiest little delightful pillows of dogs drinking <laughs> every time. They're delicious. And the best part about these is that they are not fried. They are air fried. So you can enjoy bakery quality donuts and not have to have your house and clothing smell like burnt oil. It's amazing. And the best part, well the second best part is they're simple. It's really easy. Just a few ingredients. Probably stuff that you already have on hand. You don't have to buy anything special for this. So we're starting off with some ground flax. We're also going to put in uh, some sugar. And it doesn't have a lot of sugar. It's only a quarter of a cup of sugar. So that's really nice. It's, it's, uh, I'm using organic cane sugar. Very simple. We're also going to be using a tablespoon of yeast. These are yeast raised donuts, so they're going to be very fluffy. This is not a cake donut. It's more of like a spongy pillow donut. So I'm using one tablespoon of uh, instant, fa you know, fast acting yeast. Five ounces of oat milk. You can use any non-dairy milk. They all will work the same. I'm using the uh, Butter Flavor Nutiva Coconut Oil. I like to use this one, number one, because it's got a butter flavor. Number two, it's yellow, so it gives the donuts a nice buttery color. So we're going to be using two ounces of this, so seven ounces all together. So that's going to go in. And then we're also going to be adding um, six tablespoons of water. The secret to the rise and the pillowiness and sponginess of this is aquafaba. So I've got a can of chickpeas here. Let's see, we're going to be doing the same thing. Six tablespoons, so that's about three ounces of aquafaba. We're just going to uh, plop the rest of the ingredients in here, which is going to be uh, optional salt up to a teaspoon. I'm using about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt because the chickpeas are kind of salty, so the aquafaba salty, so you don't really need to add the salt if you don't want to. And then uh, the last ingredient for the actual donut is the flour. And we're going to use three and a half cups. You don't want to pack it in. You don't want to pack it in. You just want to um, lightly pack it in. <laughs> You should probably do that with a knife, but I'm too lazy to turn around and get one. And I'm too lazy to get the half cup uh, scoop out, so I'm just gonna guesstimate that as half a cup. So now we're gonna take this over to the mixer. However, you don't need to have a heavy duty stand mixer to do this. You could just stir it and then knead it for a couple minutes and you're good to go. So now I'm using my dough hook. You could probably, if you don't have a dough hook, don't worry about it, it's not a big deal. So we're just gonna mix this to start to come together. Okay. All right, so this is what it should look like. This is a slightly sticky dough. It's not sticking to my fingers, but you could feel that it's, it's not tight, it's wet. So this is exactly what you want. If you don't have this uh, consistency, I would add a tablespoon more of the oat milk and give it another mix until you get this consistency. Plop. Yep. <laughs> so we're just going to uh, take the dough hook out. We're going to cover this up and let it rise until it's double about an hour and then we'll come back and cut out our donuts. It's uh, a little while later. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. It's puffed up. Um, it's a little chilly today so it's not at like maximum puffage. Depending on the temperature in your house, like obviously if it's warmer, these are going to rise better. 
you might have to put it in the oven on the proof setting or just uh, keep it out of a draft but I didn't feel like cleaning out my oven to put it on the proof setting so we're gonna go with this so we need to flour everything here's where the donuts are gonna be rising because the next step after we cut them out they're gonna have to rest and rise before we put them in the air fryer so we obviously don't want them sticking to the uh, parchment paper and they will stick because it's a very wet dough so well it's not very wet it's a wet dough so we want to make sure that we've got enough flour on there this is where we're going to turn them out so we also want to flour this make sure you wear a dark color so everybody <laughs> knows that you've been baking very important how many aprons do you have <laughs> yeah huh all right so this should come out pretty easily like the other one did right Pop. there we go Blip. and we're not really going to need this at all we're just going to get enough flour on it so that it doesn't stick probably have to put a little bit more whoa yeah all right so we're going to roll this out and I know you want to know where I got this from. It's a uh, Pampered Chef. This is an old vintage one. They make these out of plastic now, but this is one of the original ones from Pampered Chef. And I have to say, I love it more than a rolling pin. You can really get in there, especially with this little one, like if you're doing a pie crust or something. Yeah, it works really well. It works really well, and it's well worth the investment if you ever get the opportunity to get one of those. Because, you know, Pampered Chef's a little bit more expensive. So make sure you put enough flour because you don't want it sticking to this. Because that's going to be a big mess. So we're going to do some of these filled. And we're just going to do some of these like Krispy Kreme style with the glaze on it. So the filled ones, obviously are going to be, you know, just a circle. And the Krispy Kreme ones are going to be with the hole in the middle. So this is really simple. You don't have to have a donut cutter or anything. You just take a glass the size that you want and give it a twist and there's your donut. So then the same thing with the uh, Krispy Kreme style ones. You take a shot glass and there's your donut hole. So, <laughs> hey, you donut holes. All right, so we're going to put that one there. So now we're going to have some donut holes. You could also fill the donut holes if you want. So I'm going to cut all of these out, and we're going to let them rest for at least an hour, and then I'll show you how we're going to fry them. And it's time to make the donuts. They've been rising. They are risen. <laughs> so I pulled out my air fryer and I have a pretty big air fryer so I can do four at a time of the full size donuts. So what I do is I spray the bottom with, um, I have a little olive oil nonstick cooking spray and I'm also going to spray the tops of the donuts lightly. Air fry. <laughs> so then I'm going to take this over to the base unit here. And everybody's air fryer is pretty much different, but I usually do the, um, I think it's 370 degrees. And for the full size donut, I'm going to do 11 minutes, between 10 and 11 minutes. I usually take it out just before it like gets done. Uh, the ones with the holes, I would probably do nine minutes and these maybe eight, seven or eight minutes for the donut holes. So we'll check back when we're all cooked and I'll show you how to finish them off. Someone <laughs> is ready for donuts. So look at these gorgeous donuts. Beautiful. We got this kind. We got this kind. We got a whole bowl of holes. Whoa. This my husband, is exciting. My husband already was digging in here. All right. So these are just going to get a glaze. Mm -hmm. The holes... And the pillows are going to get some vanilla pudding. Ooh. So I just made a box of vanilla pudding and I put it in this uh, squeezy bottle. 
If you don't have a squeezy bottle, you could just slice open the donut and, you know, spoon it on and then cover it back up. <laughs> It'll work. So the first thing I like to do is just dust off any extra flour. You don't want any dusty donuts laying around. No, you don't want dusty donuts. So you get the flour off of there and then you're just going to stick it in like that and Whoop. squeeze it in. Don't overfill. Well, look, it's already like it's got a little zit. Oh. <laughs> So that's how you do one of those. Oh, it's coming out already. Mmm, too good. Here's how you do a donut hole. Same way. <laughs> only don't squirt as much in there because it's only tiny. Beautiful. Mm. All right, so now that you've seen that, let me show you how to make the glaze. This is just powdered sugar. And we're just going to put the tiniest amount of uh, non-dairy milk. I would say like one, two-ish tablespoons. A little bit goes a long way because it's going to really uh, suck up all of that powdered sugar down to nothing. You don't want this too thin, but you also don't want it too thick. That looks pretty good. Looks now this good. is this is gonna dry up considerably too. Once you dip the donut in there and it like dry, you know air dries. Mm -hmm. So you just take your ring, dip it like that. Beautiful. Get off of there. All right. And if you want to dip this one too. Ooh. Okay, so let me do a couple more of these and then we'll check back. All right, we got donuts three ways here. Beautiful. I didn't even finish them all because I want to eat them. <laughs> they look really good. <laughs> so you got your holes, no, holes filled with glaze. You got just glazed rings and then you've got like the Boston cream Very type. Very nice. So... Pick whichever one you want. Let me try one of these little guys first. Okay, those are probably my favorite. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I really, I've never made donut holes before, and I really, mm. it's a nice little uh, treat. Delicious. That glaze is fire. <laughs> yeah. That's so good. Why, thank you. Oh, my God. I mean, it's sugar, so. <laughs> I love sugar. <laughs> it's really good. Thank you. The consistency of the donut, uh -huh. it's so, like, fluffy. Yes. And nice. Yes, that's because of the air fryer and the mm -hmm. uh, aquafaba. That's really freaking good. Oh, my God, we're having dessert right now. <laughs> I know, we have to film another video, but we're, we're going to have dessert first. Yeah, we got to make our Big Brother video, but, like, this is important. Yeah. It's also 10 o'clock, so. <laughs> yeah, so we should have dessert. Yeah, that is so freaking good. All right, well, there you have it. That was pretty easy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it takes a couple seconds to put together the ingredients. The, the uh, longest part is just waiting for it to rise. Right. But you don't have to do anything while you're waiting for that, so. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And leave a comment. <laughs> and let us know if you try these out. I think you should because they are delicious. They're easy. Mm-hmm. So I think it would be a great, like, Thanksgiving donut. Anytime. Christmas donut. Anytime. So, New Year's donut. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we'll see all you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching again. And until next time, much love.